Oh, I'm just uh, burning or exporting a video at the moment um, with this response videos that I'm doing and uh, <clears throat> I'm just sitting there reminiscing uh, having brought up some pretty dark memories um, and I've got I've got it's a, it's a pretty this is pretty dark okay and uh, I'm just like I say I'm just reminiscing uh, but it's an interesting an interesting uh, MGTOW wise uh, story so and and this is on the public record so you can fact check me on this one uh, if you like um, so back in I'm, I'm pretty sure it is early 1992 uh it could be around the middle of that year i don't think it's towards the end of the year but i'll say 1992 uh, i was reading the newspaper back in the day we had newspapers and uh there was a story from uh melbourne uh and i was in queensland at the time so the, this is uh down the southern end of Australia, Melbourne, Australia, uh, a man uh, shot his wife, or soon to be ex-wife, on the steps of the uh, Melbourne family court. I remember reading that story and thinking what an absolute tragedy, absolute tragedy. He he, The story was saying he had two uh, young children, boy and girl, uh, he'd been with the woman for uh, a number of years. I don't know if it was 10 years, but it was certainly getting up towards 10 years. Um, and uh, I, I remember thinking, you know, he's, he's destroyed his life, he's ended her life, and he's ruined his kids' lives forever. And he, he shot this woman and just sat down and uh, waited for the cops to come and get him. And of course, he was charged with murder and and put in prison. Uh, now, cut to uh, twenty sixteen, I think it was. It, it might have been twenty seventeen. Uh, no, 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 it'd be twenty sixteen, maybe twenty fifteen. Uh, I was working with a, a a Muslim man at the time, um, who who was from Melbourne, and he used to give me a lift uh, home from work. Um, and we we were talking about uh, his his life in Melbourne, and uh, I happened to mention this story. I said, you know, the only thing I really know about Melbourne's this this story. It really stuck with me. It was such a tragedy, you know. And uh, he said, oh yeah, I know the guy. And uh, he, he he proceeded to tell me to fill me in on what was going on. So um, what was happening was the bloke uh, was, he was young, he was only in his 30s at the time of the shooting, but he had been uh, married to this woman and he was working two jobs and uh, he'd, in order to pay the house off, right? So they had a house uh, together with the two kids and uh, she didn't work and he was working two jobs as a tradesman uh so you know working hard um to pay the house off and had nearly done it like by by 30 he'd nearly uh paid his first house off which is unbelievable you know it's it's an, a real achievement and um he'd he left for work one morning and uh, realised that he ha had didn't have a tool that he required to do the job that he was going to. So he went home and he found the wife uh, having sex with the neighbour. Now it turns out that the, the neighbour had... Like he'd, he'd leave home at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, uh, say goodbye to the wife and the two kids. The kids were going to go off to school shortly. And the neighbour would actually come into the kitchen... Uh, and uh, play with the wife in front of the children. Um, and, of course, the children weren't able to say anything. They, didn't, they, they knew what was going on, but they, they weren't able to say anything. They were only young, like six, seven years old, you know. Uh, and this was the wife was letting this happen in front of them in the kitchen 
while they're having breakfast before they go to school and um so the the f husband found out about it and he um confronted the wife in front of the the courthouse like and and this is before they'd actually been to court um and he said to her look like the wife was saying look i'm going to take the house and the kids and the neighbor's gonna move in and sell his house and we're going to be set up for life and you can go fuck yourself you know this is what the wife's saying to the husband and the husband is saying uh look walk away now leave me with the house and the kids and everything will be okay and the wife's gone fuck you so he's walked back to his car and he's got his gun and he's gone and shot her now what he did was he told his parents that he was going to put the ultimatum to the woman and uh to the wife and uh obviously she was not going to accept it so he was going to kill her and go to prison for it and uh while he was in prison his parents looked after his mortgage and the kids and the kids came and visited him in prison every week so he maintained that relationship with them for 10 now i think he got off he, he got off early for good behavior um and i it might have been eight or nine years something like this you know it's a fucking long time right but he, he ended up uh with the house and the kids uh and i believe he got he he did in the end get married again but um you know the, like the main mainstream media painted it as being all his fault as just a rabid asshole of a man and um and you know uh standard female victim male perpetrator story and yet uh the uh the story is so much more nuanced in that really the woman was absolutely disgusting um in her behavior and uh you know you're dealing with a man who can plan he he, he sees the bigger picture he can plan these things out i don't condone what he did i'm not saying that okay like i god forbid anyone should go and shoot uh, another person but the wife completely underestimated this man she'd been in a relationship with for years you know um not that it was a good relationship i'll give you that but uh it's just you know men see the world completely differently uh and it, it's tragic it, like it is tragic but that's uh that was an interesting story for me because uh like i say i'd, I'd held on to that one for for more than a decade and then i got the actual rundown on, on what had happened and it uh changed my my view of it i um i was i spent that decade thinking that man was a complete fucking asshole but actually at the end of the day um he did something i'm not prepared to do but he certainly planned his uh his future and you know that's you know i i don't admire him but i hand in my hat because uh he definitely uh you know did the yards like a near on 10 years in prison um it's still a tragic story but uh you know uh, uh, you'd never get it from the mainstream media that's for sure you'll never hear anything like that